well, tell us how, how much are the boys looking to to just get out there and get stuck into France after the, the disappointment of Wales? Yeah, I think that's that's it really. It's it's about a bit of a bit of a reaction, really. Uh we didn't really play uh play up to what the level that we're that we're sort of expected of each other, do you know. Um so I think boys are just, just raring to go just to get to get fired in and and uh, right some wrongs, really. You personally have had some of your best performances in a Scotland shirt against France. Why do you think that is? Is it because against France you have to be on it or else it, it could be a long day at the office? Uh, I don't know, really. I, I, my focus doesn't necessarily change week on week. Just might have just been the way that, that, it, that it falls. But um, I think with France, they, they, they do play a lot, don't they? They've got some... Some real attacking threats, so um, the sort of defensive side of, of my game come, comes into it there, um, and it's like it is it's a challenge, um, it's a challenge that I, that I look forward to. So there's probably an element of that, I would say. Thanks, Chris. Hi, Chris, what have you, you made of France so far in their start to the tournament? Oh, they're, they're playing well, aren't they? It's probably probably the best that they that they've played for for a little while, um, well, certainly for the last couple of games. Um, bit of a slower start against Italy, I think, but uh, I think it was just that that was that. But uh, they're, they're obviously just looking real sharp, playing with real confidence. Um, the like, I mean, the 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 quality outfit. Um, and I think if we we let them get into a high tempo. Um, and a high tempo game, and we're not we're not physical enough. Then it's going to be a tough day for us. How important is it that you're you're going back to Murrayfield, and can that give everyone a big lift to try and help you get back on track? No, no def, definitely. Um, play, playing in front front of a packed out Murrayfield is is awesome. Like it's 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 a, like you look forward to that journey in and all that sort of stuff. So it definitely just like gives that little bit of extra oomph to. Um, to make sure we're, we're on it and that we perform and put, put on a show for, for everyone watching. Thank you. Hi, Chris. You've had so many big wins at Murrayfield over the last few years. Does it feel like it is becoming a bit of a fortress now? Um, yeah, a, li- a little bit like that. I think it's it's just that sort of bit of, bit of pride and like it, it, it's home. It's, 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 our, it's, our, it's our patch. We, we don't want to be an easy team to... To roll over, we don't want to get beat at home. Um, I don't know, something I think we lost one in the last six, maybe, or some, something like that. And I mean, that's pretty, it's pretty good. So, I think it's just a hopefully we get another another win uh this week to make it to make it six. Cheers, Chris. The 12 and 13 at France, Mofana and Fiku that start against Ireland. What do you make of these guys and how much do you concentrate on them or just look at yourself and your own backline? Um, there's a bit, a bit of both. I think I've said before, like I'll, I'll always analyse the opposition. Not that I've done a great deal at this point, because it's just Monday. Um, but over the week, we'll we'll look at it in, in a lot, a lot more depth. Um, but I've obviously I've I've played Fiku before. Um, I know a lot about what he's about. So aware of his threats, aware of opportunities. Um, and and his, his centre panel has been been playing really well. So he, he looks. Looks pretty handy from from what I've seen, but again, we'll we'll have a look in a bit more detail. But it'll be a it'll be a challenge that I'm looking forward to for sure.